It's time for this weekend's Formula 2 race here at the Hungara Ring. A popular track with a lot of history. I'm sure we're in for an absolute thrill ride of a race today. The Hungara Ring is located 12 miles northeast of the capital, Budapest. It's 2.7 miles long, featuring 14 corners, and it's got a reputation for making overtaking difficult. Nevertheless, there's a history of some truly exceptional races here. Let's hope that our Formula 2 drivers can serve up some more of that today. Joining me for all today's excitement, a man who is no stranger to this challenging circuit, Davide Valsecchi. David, a Hungara ring can be a tricky beast to master. What insight can you give us about today's race? Ciao, Alex. As you say, the circuit can be challenging. There's a lot of slow corners which can make overtaking very frustrating. This will be a good test of this young driver's patience. Waiting for the perfect moment to make an attack would be the key to moving up through the field today. As we're now moments away from the off, let's take a look at the grid order in which they'll start today's race. A fantastic effort from Jan Deruvula yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Roy Nisani in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Tictum, Joe, Christian Lungard, and Armstrong, Porcher, Dragovic, Schwartzman, Lorim Zendeli, Piastri, Boschon, Escherus, and Beckman, Samaya. Aitkin, Deleda, and Yuri Vips. Sato, for sure. Fiscal, and Liam Lawson rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. is in the pits, the rim in the pits.
Okay, you're in the top ten. Okay, we've lost a position. That's us down a place. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home.
So as they climb out of the car, the Carlin team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think this race was won thanks to the tyre management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can. It's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tires, that's where they won today. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Jan Deruvela takes the lead of the driver's championship. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.